In 1905, Einstein explained the photoelectric effect using Planck's quantum idea. It is for this explanation that Einstein earned a Nobel Prize, not for his work with relativity, for which he's more famous, nor for his work in that same year on Brownian motion. So that was actually a banner year for Einstein. Anyway, the photoelectric effect says that only light that is at or above a threshold frequency will cause electrons to be ejected from a metal surface. In other words, light that is at a lower frequency will not allow or will not cause any electrons to be ejected from the surface no matter how bright that low frequency light is. So let's say we have a light source, we're shining light on a metal surface, and just for the purposes of illustration we're going to refer to the visible spectrum. Now as we know, red wavelengths are lower frequency and at the other end violet wavelengths are higher frequency. So let's shine red light on this metal surface and what we observe is no electrons being ejected. This is fairly bright red light and no electrons are ejected. Let's go to a slightly higher frequency like orange. Again, no electrons are ejected. Let's keep ramping it up. How about yellow wavelengths? Nope, no electrons are ejected. What about green? Nope, still nothing. How about blue? Ah, when we shine blue light, in other words, when we reach that particular frequency, we do get electrons that are ejected from the surface. What would we expect when we shine violet light on this metal surface? And I think we should expect electrons to be ejected at that higher frequency. In other words, blue in this case is the threshold frequency and anything below that no electrons will be ejected no matter how intense the light and if we shine blue or higher like violet we do get electrons ejected with violet as well. But you can see here I've tried to illustrate that these electrons are being ejected from the surface and have a higher velocity, a higher escape velocity and that's because violet wavelengths have more energy so the electrons that are escaping have more energy. As you can see this is fairly intense violet light. What if we shine fairly dim violet light? What would we expect? And the answer is we will still get electrons but not as many. To summarize, the frequency which is related to the energy of light determines if electrons are ejected or not and with what kinetic energy. The intensity or the brightness of the light determines how many electrons are ejected. We saw that with bright violet light many electrons were ejected and with dim violet light because it's violet it's still above the threshold frequency of this example but not as many electrons are ejected. Einstein also expanded Planck's idea saying that energy exists only in quanta. Planck had said that energy is absorbed or emitted in chunks. He didn't say that energy only exists in discrete chunks. And Einstein expanded that idea saying energy only exists in quanta. In other words, energy cannot take any allowable value. The values of energy are not a continuum. They are chunked in discrete amounts. We can have, in the case of how many cousins do you have, you can have one cousin, you can have two, you can have three, etc. But you can't have 7.4 cousins. It's not allowed. It doesn't exist. And what we've found by many experiments is that light has both wave-like and particle-like qualities and oddly enough so does matter. In other words, light sometimes behaves like a particle and a particle of light we call a photon but sometimes it behaves like a wave. So do subatomic particles like electrons. We think of them often as particles 
but they also have wave-like characteristics.